Hey everybody, Jake here. Today what we're going to do is we're going to review this TacLife Automobile Accessories Jump Starter. It's model T8 Max. By the way guys, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. We have a lot of great videos coming up ahead. Alright, let's get started here. So this thing was sent to me by a company who basically they asked me to review it. I'll be totally honest with you. And I told them, I emailed them back and I said, when I review things, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. And if it's junk, I'm going to say it's junk. So it's a risk they got to take. So I'm happy to, uh, to get their products and, and go ahead and, and review it. So here we are. So I'm opening the box right now. And this is the first time I'm actually opening it. Comes in a pretty, pretty decent, sturdy case. No complaints about the case. It's firm. If you squeeze it, it has a lot of a lot of give. It's it's, res it's resistant. It's not going to crush if you have it in your car or in, your, in the back of your car, unless you drop a tire on it. Obviously, opening up here for the first time. Let's see. It's got um, a couple of sides, two compartments. Uh, one side looks like it has the charger. It's the jumper right there on that side and it was a little bit tricky to pull it out of there. It was kind of tight. It's actually in there pretty good. It's got a lot of padding on the sides. And let's see, it's got some buttons on it. The, um, the back shows the specifications, and I'm going to zoom in right here. And as you can see, it's got uh, 20,000 milliamps um, capacity, and it also has a 1,000 peak current um, starting amps. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn it back over. What do we got here? It has a power button. It also has uh, some lights on it. There you go. It's a flashing red light on the back. This is all the, the stuff that it's no big deal. It's like a flashlight. It's got a couple of USBs on the back. Big deal. Pretty bright flashlight, by the way. And the unit itself has got some weight to it. It's pretty sturdy. Got some weight to it. And uh, let's see what we give you. What they give you on this side. You got your um, your jumper cables, which uh, let's see, looks like it appears like it's going to plug into the back, obviously, and then you're going to take your cables and plug them into your, you're going to clamp them onto your battery terminals and start your car. One of the things that I wanted to specifically do with this particular jump starter, because this is a 1,000 amp jump starter, it's a pretty heavy duty one, is I wanted to actually jump something pretty heavy duty. I mean, I know it's going to start a four-cylinder car, I know it's going to start a six-cylinder car, I know it's probably going to start your average eight-cylinder car, but my question was, is this thing going to start, I mean, how big of a car will this thing start? How big of, a, how big of an engine will this thing start? So, um, by the way, this little thing has a little, a little uh, safety thing here, so in case you decide or you accidentally hook the battery terminals up in reverse, it gives you a little, a little light that says you're, you got them backwards. So it's a good thing when you're trying to do things in the dark. Um, I actually once fried my entire computer system by jumping a car uh, putting the battery ter cables on uh, in reverse. That was not a good night for me. It was in, in, in uh, as at night, it was dark. I couldn't see what I was doing, but anyway. So uh, you can see there's little accessories. You get the idea. No big deal. You can plug a cigarette lighter into that, charge up a phone or whatever. Um, there's your little, little uh, power adapter. That's how you're going to charge your jumper. And it's pretty simple. It's a USB power adapter. It looks no different than, like, say, charging a cell phone. And it's got the little uh, USB uh, jacks on, on it, so you can plug it in. Pretty easy. All right. So, the you know, when they sent it to me, they said it was actually powerful enough to start a 6.5-liter diesel engine. What I decided to do is... What I wanted to do is I wanted to start something even bigger. And I, I don't know anybody with a big truck, so I went over to a car dealership... And when I went to the car dealership, I looked for the absolute biggest truck that I could find. And what I did was I found a Ford F-250 with a 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine in it. This thing has two batteries, one on each side. And I figured if it could start this 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine... It's going to start just about anything that the average person is going to, is going to have. So um, what I did first is I disconnected the cables. I started uh, with the left side, and I started just, just disconnect the, the negative terminal on each battery. Now, remember, in most cases, P 
people are not going to have no battery at all in their at all in their car. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to leave their lights on, or it's going to be, uh, you know, it's just going to be a weak battery, and they just need to get jumped. In this case, I wanted to see if it would start this truck with absolutely no battery power connected whatsoever. I mean, we're just using this 1,000 amp uh, starter to see if it's going to turn this engine over. And again, this is a huge engine. This is a huge truck. Matter of fact, it's the biggest truck I've ever driven. I've never driven a 6.7 liter um, uh, engine uh, truck with, a, with that size engine in it. Never. So anyway, went ahead and I and I disconnected both batteries, uh, the negative terminals on both. So there's zero volts coming into that engine right now. And you can see that terminal is totally disconnected, and the other one is as well. And by the way, guys, this is a 2018. This is a beautiful truck. When I brought it back, and yes, they did let me test drive it without a without a salesperson in the car, which is pretty amazing. But anyway, I found a, a parking lot on, uh, behind a, uh, a a warehouse, and I did this pretty quick with my son, just to see if I can if I can test this starter. So let's go ahead and put the negative on the negative terminal on one battery. We're not even doing both batteries, just one battery, uh, and we're connecting the positive to the, um, the the positive terminal, the c uh, cable that goes back to the engine. So this is going directly to the starter and of course the, the rest of the electronics in the car. And you press that little boost button there and my son said, you gotta go ahead and press that button. So I went ahead and pressed it again, which didn't really matter. Once it's pressed, it's pressed. He went into the car and um, Turn the key. Here's me start pressing the button again, which was unnecessary. Let's see what happens. Jake! Holy crap! This thing works! Unbelievable. Yeah, that... <laughs> oh, okay. You're supposed to hit it? I don't know. All That's right. pretty unbelievable. You would not expect that, and very impressive. I would definitely recommend this product. I can tell you that not going to fit well in your glove compartment unless you have a big truck like that. If you have a, a regular car, it might be a little bit tight in the glove compartment, but you can always fit it in the back of your car in, in, the, uh, in the trunk. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe. Thumbs up or appreciated. Have a great day. Bye.